Welcome back to the third and final episode of this series. In this video, we'll put everything we've built together so far and build our dashboard. Thank you so much for all the comments and feedback I have received. Let me know what you would like the next video to be about. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated. So let's do a quick recap on previous episodes. You have built your floor plan using SketchUp or Sweet Home 3D or any other 3D software. You have created overlays on top of your renders. And now let's build our dashboard. And his name is John C. Okay, never mind. You have not created any of these. That's okay. Just download the assets from the GitHub link in the description. Okay, so back to our series business. First, you need to install HA floor plan. I recommend downloading it from Hacks. We are also going to cover two configuration methods for dashboards. So let's begin. Option A is where we control the dashboards from the user interface. Pretty straightforward and easy. So first, Home Assistant, go to Settings, Dashboards. You will see two types of configured dashboards. Let's add a new dashboard from the user interface. Give it a title. Pick any icon you wish. And then let's create it. And then let's open that, called Demo. Now go to the raw configuration editor and then you need to paste the demo YAML file that you found in the GitHub repo. Awesome. Now you need to update the entities highlighted in red with your smart lamps entity name and the highlighted elements in yellow must match the IDs we created in the SVG. And that's it. You have a fully functional digital twin. And let's try out the lamp. Works fine. And we're done. Right. So option B, using YAML files to configure dashboards. It is a more advanced method but i highly recommend it and i use the following tools to make life easier the first tool is samba share add-on in home assistant where you can mount home assistant storage on your computer and the add-on configuration is pretty straightforward like adding username password allowing or enabling shares in this case config share and also allowing the network CIDR block for your home assistant and your PC that lives on the same subnet. So far, so good. So now we have enabled Samba share on home assistant add-ons. Now we can mount it on our client computers. It can be a Mac, Linux, or Windows. And the second tool is VS Code and a handy VS Code extension called Home Assistant Config Helper. Now open VS Code and add the mounted drive into your workspace. Next, find your main configuration YAML file where we will add a dashboard section. Now let's copy this section and paste it into a new section and rename it to demo. Give it a new title. Let's call it demo YAML and also call it demo dashboard or demo YAML to differentiate from the UI one. So far, so good. So we are referencing a folder called or a directory called dashboards and demo yaml file so let's go to dashboards and then let's go to our downloaded assets get the demo yaml file copy it and paste it under dashboards we can rename it to yaml or yml same result really now let's talk about the home assistant config helper extension 
We are going to change the language setting of the YAML file to use language home assistant. This will allow us to have autocomplete on our actual device entity names configured in home assistant. Of course, that is after you have configured your extension correctly. Right, so let's save our work and go back to Home Assistant. Then let's go to the file editor and make sure that the changes we have done did indeed reflect on the Home Assistant disk or drive. And we can see that indeed our demo YAML dashboard section is there, which is good. And next, we need to restart Home Assistant for these YAML based dashboards. So let's restart. Then we will see a new dashboard appears on the left, Demo YAML. And if I try to edit this dashboard from the UI, it will fail, which is good. Uh, however, the dashboard is working fine and it's exactly the same result as the UI dashboard. Great. So some final thoughts. I recommend arranging your rooms or views into separate files and using the include statement to have this nested setup. This will help keeping things organized and easy to manage because these configuration files can get really, really long and messy and they become unmaintainable. So that's it. If you really like this video, please hit like and subscribe and let me know what the next video series should be about. Thank you so much and I enjoyed recording these videos. Have a great day. Bye.